gearing up for stiff breeze. And then, well done, Surveyor. There he is over there. And then the other one is Loki. Good luck, Roboteers. Wish you the best. Here we go. Over to you, James. Roboteers, get ready. You ready? Two, one, go. <laughs> Now, Surveyor has got that spinning disc at the front. It's brutal when you come in contact with it, but it takes time to spin up. And if he does get into trouble, he needs to, oh, we've got a smoker. We've got a smoker. Uh-oh. So the brushless motor, maybe, or the speed controller, the electronic speed controller inside has given up the ghost. His primary weapon is now, is now inactive. Loki's going on the attack. Like an injured builder beast, they all go after poor old, poor, poor old uh, surveyor. Look at him, taking a pounding, but he's trying to avoid that devastating punch and Loki's pneumatic flipper. Survivor's doing a good job of trying to protect himself in the corner, but Loki's coming in for the attack. But Stiff Breeze, the oldest robot here, about 13 years old, the orange one, but still going very strong. A very low center of gravity, which makes it uh, hard to really get hold of from a robot point of view. And it gives him the opportunity to be nimble and quick and get out of the way of all of those quite devastating smashes that could occur in the arena. But Sur Surveyor at the moment, his primary weapon is dead. So he's really just trying to evade all the chaos that's finding him. We've got the Pit of Doom, which has now been lowered. Can, can Surveyor get one of his opponents in the pit? If he can, that means he may win. He may do it. Loki's on the way. Oh, he's turned up the other way. So can he right himself? Remember, if you're inactive for longer than 10 seconds, you're counted out. So Surveyor must keep active. But it looks unfortunately like a Stiff Breeze. Oh, you silly sausage. So there you go. Although his primary weapon was disabled, Surveyor takes the win. Well done, Surveyor.